Today's story is Zootopia. This film follows the story of a young rabbit named Judy Hopps, who dreams of becoming a police officer. Judy moves from her hometown to Zootopia and becomes the first rabbit police officer. Judy is initially excited to start her job as a police officer, but is disappointed when her boss, Chief Bogo, assigns her to parking duty instead of a real case. While performing her duties, she encounters a sly fox named Nick Wilde who takes advantage of her innocence by convincing her to buy a popsicle. During her duty, Judy meets a sad otter who tells her that her husband is lost. When she tries to take the case to Chief Bogo, he dismisses her, telling her that she's only there to do parking duty. However, Judy refuses to give up and decides to pursue the case on her own. Judy Hopps first approaches Nick Wilde about the missing animal cases, and she discovers that he has been selling popsicles without a permit and hasn't been paying his taxes. Judy uses this information to blackmail Nick into helping her with the case. She records his conversation, threatening to use it as evidence against him if he doesn't cooperate. So, Nick decides to help Judy. They both team up to solve the case of the missing animals in the city of Zootopia. Judy and Nick try to find out why some animals are missing in Zootopia. They follow a clue that takes them to a fancy car company owned by a powerful and scary arctic shrew named Mr. Big. They go to Mr. Big's house and find out that they are friends with his daughter who they saved earlier in the movie. Mr. Big then helps them by giving them important information that leads them to where the missing animals are. They went to investigate and found a secret laboratory where the animals were being used for medical experiments. It is also seen that all of them are predators. They found out that Mayor Lionheart is responsible for this. Judy is praised for solving the case, but during press conference, she accidentally blames the biology of predators for the recent savage behavior promote hateful speech throughout Zootopia. This statement leads to widespread fear and intolerance towards predators, and they face unfair treatment from some of the prey animals. It hurt Judy a lot so she resigned her job. Back home, Judy learns that a specific berries called night howlers contain a neurotoxin that could cause mental changes in animals. She returns to Zootopia finds Nick and together they confront the manufacturer of a drug made from night howlers, which was used to induce savage behavior in predators. Judy and Nick steal the serum and head to Zootopia PD. But before they arrive there they encounter Bellwether, who reveals herself as the mastermind behind all of this. She traps them and shoots Nick with the serum, hoping he will kill Judy, but the two of them have replaced the serum with blueberries to prevent this from happening. Bellwether threatens them and accidentally reveals all her wrongdoings that Judy manages to record. Bellwether gets arrested by SPD. With the arrest of Bellwether, all savage predators are cured and join the society. Judy and Nick rejoin the SPD as officers. The conclusion of Zootopia is that it's not okay to judge people or animals based on what they look like or where they come from. The movie shows how working together and accepting others can help make things better. It also says that we should always stand up for what is right, even if it's not popular. In the end, Zootopia wants everyone to treat each other with kindness and respect, no matter what their background is. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more great content. We post new videos every week.